Hey, Los Cabos, Bruce Gillis from the Town Heroes here. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go over what I have in my stick bag, and I actually don't own a stick bag. I uh, just use a all beat up symbol bag that uh, still has a Porter gate check pass. Luckily, Porter never lost anything on me, thank God. So, <clears throat> so in the bag, what I typically carry is a couple set lists. Um, some of them are the same, some of them are empty papers like this, but usually uh, I have writing material, pen, uh, paper, all that fun stuff. Of course, Los Cabos drumsticks, I carry a ton, like brand new ones, beat up ones. Um, yeah, lots and lots of sticks. So they just sit in the bottom under my symbols, and yeah. I also found this, I forgot it was in there, Strapsils, but I like candy or anything for when my uh, <clears throat> throat's on fire or not, something to chew on, suck on, whatever, while I play. I just recently bought one of these. I probably won't carry it all the time. In the bottom of the bag, I'll make sure it's at the top, but it's a tune bot. I can't tune drums for shit, so I bought this, and it's a godsend. It's amazing. Aside from my cymbals, obviously, I also have shaker for an acoustic gig, if I want to use that, comboed with my cajon, which I really can't stand. I like a drum kit. I'm not much of a <clears throat> percussionist, more drum kit kind of guy. Moon gels, always use moon gels. Um, just kind of experiment what's the best spot to put them. Uh, uh, more moon gels. And I don't always have this. Most drummers don't. We always forget the drum key. So, yeah, I try to keep it there all the time. Easier said than done. It's like a guitar player with their guitar pick, always losing it. So, But I have a million lying around the house, so I try to do a check before anyway. So, Anyways, that is in my stick bag slash cymbal bag, whatever. And, uh, yeah good times and uh hopefully there's no more garbage at the bottom of that that i don't need but yeah anyways cheers guys thanks los cabos and we'll be in touch